is Saturday morning. Hope you're well and um, what you up to. Um, I'm on the way to see my mama. She is 85 years old, so I go around there once a week to say hello, have a cup of tea with her. She likes to catch up and she sort of worries what I'm doing. You know, it's funny, but mums and dads can sense if there's any stress in their kids. And usually when I'm a little bit stressed out, I try and avoid everyone, you know, because I don't like people to see if I'm stressed um, because I don't want people to worry because the pressures I put myself under, they are my own doing. You know, I put myself here. I have put myself under extreme pressure by growing my own business, by employing people, by uh, having big overheads at work or at home. That's my problem, you know. There's things which I've done in my life which I've completely fucked up. You know, I'm 48 years old now, and when I was a young, I guess, in my 20s, I couldn't wait to get into debt. I couldn't wait to have my first credit card to buy stuff on, because I thought, that's what you did. You get credit to spend. Uh -huh. Mental. You know, I remember getting my first gold American Express, and that was a debit card. You know, I had about two grand limit, and I think it must have been 1990. Guess what I did? As soon as it came through, signed the back, went to Brighton, and spent the lot on clothes. What a mug. But that's what, that's what people do. That's what people do, that's what the kids are doing now. You know, if I can pass down one bit of useful information to the kids now, that is, don't get wrapped up in all this bullshit. You know, whatever you're seeing on social media, it's fake, it ain't real. Yes, there's a few really, you know, really rich people in this world and they can afford to have all these beautiful things, super yachts, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, 100 grand Ro Rolexes, um, you know, beautiful homes, beautiful wives. Well, that's not everyone, but there's a lot of fake people out there putting that kind of lifestyle out there and it's really confusing these young kids. You know, it is too late for me because I'm in this rat race. I've got the nice cars, I've had the Porsches, had the R8s, I've had the, you know, expensive watches, fantastic holidays. But really, that was the downfall of me when I was younger. Because don't forget, I was made bankrupt twice in my life. Because I thought having credit and spending it was what you did because I had no one around me to tell me this is not what you did. You worked, you saved, and then you saved some more, and then if you can afford it, you paid for it. That is the perfect thing to do. You know, so please, you know, if you're, you know, in your 20s, don't get credit. Don't go and buy a bloody brand new car and finance as soon as you pass your test because I know people in my family have done that. You know, and it's a fucking mistake. You know, I have learned by my mistakes and I am 48 years old. You know, and all I want to do, you know, I've got a good business. You know, new projects is a fantastic business and it's got great opportunities. You know, I can create opportunities every day of my life. Um, but it gets easier when you get older because the older you are, the more people listen to you and they think that you know what you're talking about. Which, you know, hopefully I do know what I'm talking about because I've had my ups and downs, I've learnt by my mistakes, my trials and tribulations, my marriage, my divorce, my father's deaths, my bankruptcies, my ups and downs, my uh, business partners, stealing from the company and opening different things up behind my back, uh, staff being uh, like traitors going behind my back. I've learned all this, you know, 
uh, friends who you think are friends who you've lent money to never repaying that's what happens you know these people there's thousands of people out there who are after ripping people off so you know whether it be what you're looking at on social media what you're hearing about through you know other sort of media channels everyone is out for money all these programs on TV it's all about generating money making money all these young kids on Love Island when they come out guess what they're gonna do they're gonna have hundreds and thousands of people following on Instagram and then they'll be selling their bullshit stuff through their social media platforms that's that's fact you know Please be real, don't follow the crowd, do your own thing, and don't rely on anyone. <sighs> wow. It's re I'm really passionate about this because I don't want people to make the mistake I've made. You know, just work hard, work hard. You know, listen to Gary V, listen to our old my, our mate Gary V. For, the lot, for 10 years of his life, he didn't do anything. He just saved and saved and worked and worked and saved and saved and worked and worked and invested. Boom! He done it. He's a fucking good role model. He's 43 years old. People who don't know Gary Vee, I suggest you tune into him and listen to his, his story. Because it's very, very interesting. And he's an expert in digital marketing and, and branding and so on and so forth. You know, I love these inspirational uh, people. They inspire me. I listen to them and um, I try and learn new things because you must learn new things. You know, I do say, that, you know, yeah, I'm 48. You can't really teach old dogs new tricks because I'm just, I'm set in my own old ways, you know. Uh, I can be difficult, you know. I am an entrepreneur. Uh, I've been an entrepreneur for over 30 years. And uh, when you do live with someone like me, it's tough. Because, you know, I've said in my, you know, the journeys, my ups and downs, winning, losing, being angry because you've lost, um, you know, it's tough, it's tough, but please, you know, if you, you young people out there, if you're watching this, or uh, you need any advice, direct message me, you know, Jesus Christ, I've got, a, I've got years of uh, uh, advice, you know, I don't want people to make the same mistakes, and if you don't, guess what you are going to be successful you're going to have some cash to spend in the future when you're in your 30s or 40s or 50s fact um listen right i'm parked outside my mum's house now i'm gonna go and see her so uh have a great day um relax enjoy the weather if you got weather today but you know i've got a bit of it's shitty today really it's a bit rain we're gonna rain later on so anyway catch up don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel uh listen to me on podcast or follow me on insta or facebook see ya you're me, are you? fucking am <laughs> you're going global <laughs> This is Sandra. Say hello. Hi. Five dogs. Hello. Hello, film stars. Hello. Dolly and Daisy. Hello. <laughs> Say smile. Hello. <laughs> Look at that. Where Archie you got you in the back? It's fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know. Got a lovely face. They're all hello. lovely dogs. They've had a fantastic time with Teddy. Hello. Next time, bring me with them. Oh, I'm, I should do. You should. Just do it. Right, see you later. Bye. Hello, my darling. Hello, my darling.
I've just, just seen all those dogs. Hey? Just seen all those dogs. Hello.